I don't know anything else. Do you know what I mean? Like I had one or two loan spells when I was a kid, but apart from that, I do not know anything else. I know uh, West Ham. Twenty-two years have gone by so fast, as Mark Noble hopes to make every minute last. It seemed like yesterday you came through the club's door and made your debut for West Ham in 2004. First team was the dream, but you needed to go out, on loan at first, to get in with a shout of playing for the Irons. By then little did you know that stadium you'd play at would become your second home. Over time, this club would grow into your heart. It's been a long ride, Nopes, so where do I start? Well, let's go back to the 06-07 season. You remember that time, as do fans, for a very good reason. Relegation was likely, but never say never. What you and the lads achieved went down in folklore forever. That game at Old Trafford was a memorable day. Do you know that some lessons were learned along the way? Like how football may be cruel and draw a bitter blow, and how you need to work hard and reap what you sow. Survival was secured, a great day in MCR, for the Hammers fans who travelled to support near and far. You were going from boy to man, learning the football emotions. As those before you had, you'd come to see the game's many commotions. You see, relegation battles and West Ham were always a thing, yet you would stick by us with no regrets nor questioning. We went through good times, sad times, over the years. You were helped out by managers, friends and peers. 2015, a dream of yours came true. You'd be named the captain of the Claret and Blue. Di Canio, Dix, Bonzo, Moore, you were now one of them whom the supporters adored. As the club prepared to say goodbye to its sacred place, you wore the armband with a strong sense of grace. The time to bid goodbye came on May 10, 2016. A 3-2 win in the last game the bowling would ever see. At a place where players become heroes for others, you stood on stage with your Claret and Blue brothers. It was hard to say goodbye, you wanted to cry, and although it's gone, Mark, that place's legacy will never die. We moved to a new place, the one we call the Bowl. The changes in atmosphere must have taken a toll. It wasn't West Ham. It wasn't working class. It's all bad times, but these times, I promise you, they will pass. In the heat of the moment, the anger got the best of you. We get why though, Mark. We know you're one of us too. You started to look for a new successor, someone in the long term. It was that person's job to take the armband you'd earned. To you, it was easy. You didn't have to think twice. You just knew you saw a leader in a young Declan Rice. He idolizes you, Mark, and he's making you smile. Watching him grow has been so worthwhile. You now sit on the bench, but you fully understand how Declan leads and how the team with him is in good hands. We are sad to see you go, but the next job must be done to spend quality time with your wife, daughter, and your son. She needs a husband, and they need their dad, and trust me, these two titles are some of the best for any lad. From skipping school, to watch your idols train, to playing in heat, snow, and heavy rain. We remember every goal and every penalty kick, and how you looked out for the young, the old, and the very sick. You did it, Master Noble. You lived a football dream. Now we say goodbye around these parts of E15. When the time comes, and the final curtain comes down, we will miss you, Mark Nobes, 16, that kid from Canning Town.